Hey guys, how's it going, man? Hope you all are doing well and you are crushing it in your red jet journey. Man, in this video, I'm going to talk about the Moonshiner role and the most efficient and fastest way to level up that role. But before we get into that, man, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to our channel. Continue to help us grow. Also, hit that notification bell so that you're alerted the next time that I drop a new video. Now that's out of the way, man, let's get right into it. Now the Moonshiner role, man, is one of those roles that the way you level it up is just by timing. If you time everything perfectly, you could have the consistent flow of XP coming to you while everything is working in, in the background. And, you know, the way you have that consistent flow is making sure that you start a Moonshine batch before you start a mission because once you start a mission once you're done with that mission then moonshine batch will be pretty much be done and you can do a, a moonshine run but i'll get a little bit more to that but one of the first things you want to make sure that you're doing is but you want to make sure that you're doing the daily challenges man each daily challenge gives you a challenge in each role and so they'll give you some in the moonshine roles that you may naturally do on your own just just while doing the role but if you're not you want to go ahead and make sure that you complete both of these because they will give you an additional xp bump and it'll give you you know as you see 0 0.010 gold bars you know per mission and if you're doing your, your daily challenges <laughs> daily then they'll stack and so the xp and the gold will stack it will stack as well so you want to make sure you're doing your daily challenges all right, so like I was saying, you want to make sure you time everything perfectly. So one of the first things you want to do when you come to the Moonshine Shack, you want to go downstairs and set a batch to begin to cook. And then once you set that batch to begin to cook, you want to come up here, see Maggie, and do a story mission, especially if you have not completed the story. You want to make sure you do a storyline mission because those missions will take probably 25 to 30 minutes to complete and once you're done with the mission you could come you're going to come back here to the shack and your moonshine will be ready and you could do a moonshine roll so you'll get that storyline xp then you'll get that moonshine <laughs> delivery xp and then by the time you come back from doing the moonshine run you'll have a mission available because of the missions have cooldown as well so you'll have a mission available and you can rinse and repeat all at the same time so you want to make sure you time it like that and the way that you do that all starts with the type of moonshine that you are cooking let's go down to the shack oh he's down here getting tipsy on the job man <laughs> all right so what you want to do is when it comes to the moonshine and you're strictly focusing on xp do not worry about the moonshine steel. You do not need to upgrade the, the steel. It does not add any any more XP to your runs, whether you have the weak moonshine or the strong moonshine. What it does add is time. And so, in my opinion, you want to stick with the weak moonshine because the weak moonshine takes 30 minutes to, to cook. The average moonshine takes 45 minutes, and the strong moonshine takes 60 minutes. So in that 60 minute time, if you stick with the weak moonshine, you'll be able to get two moonshine runs in, opposed to the 45 and the 60, where you could really only get one moonshine run in within, within, an, within an hour. And it gives you the same payout of XP, whether you do weak or strong. So there's no difference. They give you the same between that 900 and and, and 1,000 XP. So you really want to stick with the, the weak XP, because I mean weak moonshine, because you can get multiple runs in within an hour, opposed to that that one. Okay, like I said, the timing and the 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 level of the sh the 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 steel, whether it being uh, average. Uh, or strong really only adds to the value now if you're trying to make money now you want to make sure that you have the stronger moonshine but it does take an hour to cook but it's going to give you a significant amount more money than the weak moonshine but we're just talking xp so when it would it when it's just xp the weak moonshine is the way to go you don't want to worry about the flavoring either because the flavoring just adds to, to the value as well so really Crank out those weak moonshines. Focus on the weak moonshine because it'll give you that XP, and you can get two runs in an hour, opposed opposed to opposed to one. So when your moonshine's ready, boom, you want to hit that run, and you want to get after it. 
So when you're about to start the run, I like to make sure I have just the pistol out, just in case, you know, just in case. But the most important thing when you're doing a run is making sure that you stay on the road. Because if you go off road, that little blue wheel will start <laughs> decreasing quickly. Every little bump that you hit off road pops a bottle. So you want to make sure that you're staying on the road the entire time like really do not get off the road so make sure you're making your turns as best you can so that you don't go off road because you want to keep that wheel as strong as possible it is crazy how the slightest off road little bump starts damaging your bottles It's a pretty good day for me to just, just run. Normally it's, it's foggy and dark. I hate it when it's foggy and dark because then I can't really see and not run into stuff. See, just that turn right there decreased. I lost a bottle. So you just want to make sure that you're staying on road as best as possible. Okay, now when you see, just power through it. When you see the checkpoint, man, just power through it. Don't stop. Don't stop. Just keep going. crazy every little turn I lose a bottle or it looks like I lose a bottle railroad track look at that destroyed the bottles I had that's why it's so important man to stay on the roll and then take your time when you're going over you know bumps and things like that because as you guys see it it took I was doing good I was doing fine let's see how many bottles I, I end up with ah 19 that's not bad but you know the wagon got <laughs> got tore up So you guys see, boom, and I, and I hit a daily challenge at the same time. So you see, it gave me that all this all this XP that I'm getting from doing that moonshine run. I got a daily challenge in. Now I can run back and, and, and do a mission. That's why it's more important. What I wanted to say is that, as you guys saw, when I was uh, going through the going through doing the run, I came through the checkpoint and I just sped through it. And you see, they didn't even give me any problem. They just kept 
they kept it going. It was like red and then boom, they were gone because they weren't going to chase me. So you have to, when you get to those checkpoints, don't ever stop. And it's like, they were like, stop, look, let me check your wagon. If you stop and you let them check your wagon, they're going to find alcohol. <laughs> they're going to find a moonshine. They're going to shoot you. And now you got 50 agents shooting at you. Uh, anyway, so you might as well power through it and see if they even have time to shoot. You know, because most of the time they they get surprised, like, oh my goodness, what happened? Oh, uh, that he sped through, and so they don't really, really chase you. So just power through it. Don't stop. I know uh, your first mind is to stop and just shoot them all so you can get through. But if you power through it, you won't even have to worry about shooting them. You could just, you know, keep it moving. All right, man, that is it, man. That's really all of the tips that you can efficiently and quickly level up the moonshine and roll. And I go through them again, man. It's making sure that you're doing those daily those daily challenges, especially the moonshine and roll daily challenges. Like, check, your, check it, see what it is so that you can know if while you're doing the run, you'll hit that challenge as well. If, if you have to go outside of what you're, what you're doing to be able to hit that moonshine challenge. But just make sure that you're hitting that moonshine challenge you know daily so that you know your daily challenges stack as well and you'll get uh, get that XP and that you know that percentage of gold gold bars but you want to make sure you're doing your daily challenges also you want to make sure that you're timing everything perfectly that when you are getting ready to start you go to the moonshine shack you start with making a moonshine batch have that batch start cooking and you go upstairs see Maggie and you run a mission especially the storyline mission make sure you complete all the storyline mission because they give you a stupid amount of XP uh, and they're fun and they're, they're it's a really fun role it's a really fun missions so just make sure that you're doing those that storyline mission but once you're done with the storyline mission by the time you get back to the moonshine shack your moonshine will be ready and now you can do that moonshine run and now you're getting that XP so you hit that XP for the storyline then you come back within moments you're hitting that XP for uh, for delivering your moonshine you want to make sure that when you're making your moonshine you stick with weak moonshine because weak moonshine only takes 30 minutes to cook opposed to average and strong which average takes 45 minutes and strong takes takes an hour if you stick with the weak moonshine you're gonna get the same amount of XP period so you don't have to worry about you know one giving you more XP or, or, or another you're gonna get the same amount of XP whether it's weak or strong um, the benefit of working with the weak is that you get to do two runs of, of, of moonshine within an hour opposed to just one so stick with the weak moonshine if you're focusing on on XP if you just focus on money then you want to make sure you got the stronger steel so that you make the stronger moonshine and you get you know the larger amount of money Right. When you're doing the moonshine delivery, make sure you speed through those checkpoints. Don't worry about the agents. Speed through it. Most of the time, they don't even chase you. So just speed through it. And if, if by chance they do chase you, it's one, maybe two. Um, and you can take those off. If you As you start the, the ride with your pistol out, you can pop those guys off on your way and have no problem. Make sure while you're on that delivery as well, stay on the road, man. Stay on the road. Because if you step off the road, it's going to jack up your wagon every little bump that you hit and it's gonna significantly jack up your wagon I mean as you guys saw I was pretty much on a roll and I was making slight turns and it started jacking up my wagon wagon so imagine when you go off-road the damage that you're gonna do to your wagon if your wagon is damaged you can't deliver it it's the now to run is pointless so make sure you stay on the road when you are doing the run and man that's it man that's it man that's all that I have for you on this video how to level up that moonshine roll man it's fun it's a fun roll and you get that xp like that if you follow the formula you'll get this xp in no time and you'll look up and it'll be maxed out so i hope this video helped you guys and if it does help you in any way please consider subscribing to our channel and help us continue to grow also hit that like button and let the youtube algorithm know that you enjoyed this type of content so they shoot this type of content out the other people who might enjoy it as well and do me one more big favor man hit that notification bell so that you're alerted the next time that i drop a new video that's it for this one guys i am out i will catch you all on the flip side